Dr. Charles Drew's pioneering research into discovering a method for long-term storage of blood plasma during World War II not only saved the lives of thousands of servicemen and civilians, but paved the way for blood banks now in place across the world. In the late 1930s, the Washington-born African-American developed a method for safely separating and preserving the liquid parts of the blood, known as plasma, from the blood cells, as part of his doctoral studies. Before this, blood could only be stored for up to two days, but plasma could be stored for up to a week in refrigerators at blood bank sites. Plasma can be transferred to and from anyone, whereas successful blood transfusions depend on blood groups. This blood substitute helps replace fluids and treat shock. With war raging in Europe and blood stocks falling desperately low, Dr. Drew was appointed to lead a special medical effort known as the Blood for Britain Project, a scheme to transport blood and plasma across the Atlantic to Great Britain. He and his team oversaw the collecting of contamination-free blood from several New York hospitals, using centrifuging and sedimentation to separate blood plasma from cells. When the program ended in 1941, more than 5,000 liters of plasma had been shipped to England. Later that year, Dr. Drew headed the development of a blood bank for US military personnel, but left after becoming frustrated with the military's request for segregating blood donated by African Americans. He returned to his work as a surgeon and professor, but continued to develop new ways of collecting and storing blood, including setting up blood mobiles used by the Red Cross. Ironically, the Red Cross initially excluded African Americans from donating blood, a policy Dr. Drew openly criticized. At the time of his death, following a car crash in the 1950s, he was known as the father of the blood bank, and today, around 92 million units of blood are collected globally each year.